Okay, guys. Um, so, firstly, I would like to just say welcome to our, me and my wife's wedding. Um, yeah. uh, hope everyone's having a great time. Um, you all look absolutely stunning. Um, I'm just so glad you could be here. Me and my wife's, me and my wife's a uh, very special day. Um, I know a lot of you have travelled a long way. Um, Honestly, it wouldn't be anything about you guys here and just make the day what it is. Um, thank you, Dave, for your kind words. As you can probably tell, like me and Dave have a little bit of banter about football, but <laughs> Dave Banner's a little bit like Man City's history. It's not a distant. Oh! <laughs> and we're off! <laughs> 15 love. <laughs> we're making score over here. <laughs> we're on our way to juice. <laughs> Um, but in, uh, in all fairness, uh, since day one, Dave and Joe have both been very loving. Um, they welcome me into the family, and I'm basically the fourth son they've always wanted. I've <laughs> done so much, honestly. I you were the second daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Dave to serve. <laughs> um, you've done so much for me and Kirsty, and uh, we couldn't be here today without your help and support. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I'm just on a personal note, I've become very close to Joe, Kirsty's mum. I can honestly, honestly say I've gained a second mother in you. Um, so thank you for raising a beautiful, intelligent, funny, sometimes stubborn, <laughs> very fucking stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> but her happiness means everything to me, and I promise to both of you proud. I'd just like to say something for my parents. Just there. Who the yeah, fuck so is that? <laughs> as you can see, my dad is just as good looking as he is now. <laughs> I'm I'm also, taller. <laughs> I'd like to say a big thank you to my parents. I think anyone who knows my mum and dad, they know they do anything for everyone. Whether it's cooking for my mates, doing my washing every weekend at uni, or fixing Westy's fucking car every week. <laughs> um, they make sure people are happy and they never ask for anything back in return. My mum fusses me over non-stop, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And my dad is genuinely the best mate. I'm lucky enough to have grown up to witness a strong and loving marriage between them both. Me and Kirsty would like to say a big thank you to you and help and your help over the last two years and again we wouldn't be where we were without you two. So thank you for your love and support. <laughs> Just another little quick thank you to my grandparents over there. Um, also they've helped so massively with today um, and over the last two years. Again watching your 60 year marriage has taught me a lot about what I need to know. I think Grandad said total compliance, was it? God bless you there. So, thank you very, very much. And also, another little thank you to Sheila, who's an absolutely incredible woman, and she's helped us more than anyone will ever know, and she's very, very dear to us both, so thank you very much. to the boys. I'm lucky enough to have an incredible set of friends from many circles. People know about the Power 8. Sadly, sadly two of them couldn't make it today and they're surely missed. Here's a little bit of evidence of how stressful this possibly could be to be friends with these boys. <laughs> that is an egg up my ass, by the way. Um, that was, it is stressful, but I can honestly say they're the best group of mates I've ever had since school. We've been close, um, they're the best group of boys ever, and we're so close, it's unbelievable, so thank you boys. My two best men, they're stood here next to me, give them a wave lads. <laughs> wave. <laughs> they did a fantastic job with the uh, stag weekend, it's something I'll never forget. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly, there's one or two things I'd like to forget, but I'm actually emotionally scarred. First of all, start of wasting down there on the left. I've known him for ten years now, and everyone knows he's a joker in the group. Yes, <laughs> boy! It's my own shop. They're not my toes. I was... I love him. 
Everyone's getting it's a notification. Get it's, 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 it's not its finest hour. It's probably it's one, one of the funniest it. things I've seen in the ten years. It only happened two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's genuinely the funniest guy I know, and he's also the best. Over the past ten years, there's no one I trust more. There's no one there that's there for me as much as he is. So thank you, pal. You're welcome, mate. There's also another. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That is again wasting being a little bit of a joker. Boy, it fits a good drink. <laughs> um, next, what's this? Dick. Next. <laughs> Ricey. <laughs> I've known him for seven years now, but sadly, this is the worst picture I could find of him because he's normally the sensible one in the group. Me and Ricey have been great friends for uni, and especially on our adventure to America, where we had great times. I think anyone who knows Ricey knows how genuine and sincere he really is. These two are two of the best blokes I can ever meet, and I'm proud to have you here as my best men. So thank you. Aww. On to Marsha's. Sorry, this is going on. <laughs> thank you to Marsha's first one, Matt. Honestly, one of the funniest guys I know as well. And he's always cracking jokes. And here he is. Oh. <laughs> Colin Caitlin. That's not a woman, that's actually Matt dressed up as a woman. <laughs> it's being cursed never worked out, mate. I think we might have to. Eventually, <laughs> 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 Matt. He's an actor in the past, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's a serious guy. He's a top bloke and a really good friend. Matt, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> On to my other usher and my oldest friend. Sadly, our antics were in the days where camera phones weren't invented. So I'm so glad they were. Because <laughs> the shit we got up to was ridiculous. Uh, he's been, uh, we've been through a lot in the last 20 years and I'm lucky to have a childhood friend like him. And he's a genuine mate. So, cheers Andy. Yeah. Again, these boys are very close to me and I'm lucky to have friends like you. And it means a lot that you're here as my ushers. You did a really good job today, guys. But I'm not sure, sit where the fuck I tell you is what I quite had in mind as up is. Because you're doing a very good job. Um, uh, and now on to the bridesmaids. I think everyone will agree with me um, how unbelievably stunning they all look. Um, and everything here is the bridesmaids and Kirsty behind the scenes. And they've done a fantastic job, especially Abby, who's taking a lot of time out of her own time to help Kirsty and doing so much stuff that people won't really realise. But they've all done really, really well, so just thank you. For that. <laughs> Last but not least. <laughs> all right, where do I start? Two years ago, someone came into my life that that changed it forever. I think everybody in this room knows that this person is maybe the happiest guy on the planet. This someone's so special that I don't think people realise it like I do. After the last two years, I wake up every day and I still can't grasp the fact that there's someone in my life. I feel incredibly lucky. All that I hope is that this special someone knows from the bottom of my heart how much they truly mean to me. I know that it's difficult to find someone who makes you feel this way, and I'm never ever going to take it for granted. So can we please raise a toast? To Meza Ozil, people. <laughs> say you marry someone similar to your mother. Well, thank God you don't nag as much as her, but you, do. <laughs> but you definitely share the same amazing quality she does, and I know you're going to be the best possible wife. Some people may or may not know that me and Kirsty met online. While I was in the States, I think the reason we fell in love so quick was that we built a great foundation as we were speaking for months before I came home and finally met. 
first time we met was one of the most nerve-wracking experiences of my life before today. I knew after the first time we met that she was very special and that I wanted to hold on to this girl and never let her go. I can't express how amazing this woman really is. She makes me a better person every day and she's genuinely the most caring, loving, funny and beautiful woman in the whole world. I'm so excited for our journey together, knowing you're by my side. You make me feel invincible and I love you more than anything. Just can we please have a toast to my beautiful wife. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Now, over to my two best men. There's something you should know about these two. He is a they Is they weirdly go into this power universe where whatever they say is absolute bullshit. <laughs> Just take what they say with a pinch of salt. <laughs>